the Young Turks. Passport bros are fed up with American women. So obviously this is a progressive media outlet. And this idea, they're not going to like. Because what a lot of these passport bros are doing and, and what they're searching and seeking is a feminine woman. All right, They're looking for a traditional woman. And kind of, they want gender roles. They want a woman to behave like a woman. And they want to behave like a man. And so this idea is very anti-feminist. It's, it's very anti-liberal. And what liberals really like and what leftists and feminists, what they're all about is the ambiguity amongst gender and gender roles. And so they're not going to like this, all right? This, this isn't really going to be, this isn't going to fall in line with their ideology of gender blenders and hey you know if a woman wants to behave in a in a contrary way to traditional norms don't oppress her and let her do that and you know that's certainly happening here in america and so guys are responding because they want women they understand that even in relationships they are going to be held to a traditional standard it's just how it is. You can date the most modern woman, but she's still going to want you to be a man. She's still going to want you to protect her. She's still, you know, maybe she won't admit it, but she's going to want you to make more money than her. She's going to want you to be making good money at least. So it's like there's there's a lot of one-sided gender roles going on in these modern-day relationships where men are expected to behave like men. And if men expect women to behave like women, they are oppressive bigots. So just kind of give it some context there or, or just prefacing this video because I do not expect it, and I legitimately haven't watched this yet. I saw some other channel cover it, and I figured I'll cover it as well. Hey, there's a lot of fun things to do out here in Thailand besides just looking for a wife. People here are fun and friendly. They have a beautiful culture, amazing food. You can live like a king for like $2,000 a month. I'm traveling the world right now. I'm a single guy and dating, so I have an experience, and it's absolutely the truth that it's better. I'm that's the thing. Also, he's talking about the economical advantages, financial advantages. We live in a country right now that is ran, not to get super political, but it's ran by Democrats. And things right now just really aren't that advantageous to the American citizen. Things are very inflated. The cost of living is, is really high. Passport bros, these sort of guys are taking advantage of currency arbitrage basically where you if you can make money online or you're able to you know work from home shit you can go to these these countries in asia and and live like a king live off of 2k a month that sounds great to me i'm sorry i don't know what you want me to say it's the inconvenient truth you guys don't want to hear hey we're out here having fun living our best lives and if you think you're gonna stop us with some middle school this is about oh you're a loser you got another thing coming I don't even know you. <laughs> All right. So before we start, what what was wrong with that? There really wasn't much wrong with that. As a matter of fact, there wasn't anything wrong with it. This guy seems like he's living it up. He's around women who are behaving like women. They aren't overweight and, and, and snobby and entitled. They are humble, down to earth, raised with traditional values. They respect men. They reject feminism. You know, it just... The, the, the country costs less to live in. Now, sure, you got to be aware of ladyboys and all these other things. However, it just it seems like this guy is, is living it up. And Thailand does look fun. Mm -hmm. But that gentleman is part of a subculture in America. They're referred to as the passport bros. Who are the passport bros? Well, they're individuals who aren't really satisfied with their options here in the United States. Mm -hmm. And so they uh, are traveling the world in search of a partner, of a wife, of someone to share their lives with, John. Let's watch more. Oh, well, you yeah. passport bros? What is a passport? Bro? Okay, passport bros are men that are so fed up with Western women because we're all apparently so woke and so terrible and Western women don't want to be wives. The, she's not, that's not wrong though. When it comes to Gen Z, they themselves, the, the Generation Z women, identify with feminism more than any generation ever. And the, the men in Gen Z are rejecting feminism more than any generation ever. So they're going in the complete opposite paths. So what are these? 
Oh, do you think they're going to end up together? Who are these men to date? Who are these women to date? They don't want to date conservatives. These conservative dudes don't want to date libs. Seems like we've got a dilemma here. That they are now going to other countries to find wives. That's like which countries? Southeast Asia, the Philippines, the Dominican Republic. So it's like the opposite of the mail order bride. Yes, so like, exactly. Okay, so yes. instead of ordering out, instead of using stamps.com. Yes, <laughs> and bringing them here, right, they're like, they're we want to get out. It feels more expensive, but. Okay. It is. And so a lot of these men get remote jobs. And so they go there and they live in these countries and then they meet these women. And then women in the Western world, specifically the United States, are so pissed off about it. And they're like, you're going to all these countries where these women don't even know how to speak English. They can't even read. They're so uneducated. And then the men, like, film themselves with these women and, like, show themselves on dates. And the women are so elegant and they're so well-spoken and they're so traditional. And they're like, look at these women. Yeah, passport bros. Because okay. Western women are so bad. Hmm. Did not know about that. Yeah. I mean, That's why I'm here. Mm, interesting. I mean, I, I, I did marry a, a woman from abroad. I mean, she she was been in America since she was 12, but uh -huh. still, she's Israeli. So. There you go. Yeah. You're like a reverse passport, bro. Yeah, exactly. Well, she came here and she got citizenship, so. Yeah. You didn't import her? I did, I did not import my, my wife, no. <laughs> Makes that very clear. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, what's wrong with any of that? They were not wrong at all. Let's let's see what the issue is here, because you know she'll find one. Ugh. I mean, look, I love my country and I love my people. And when I say people, I mean Americans in general. And so I kind of don't like dissing Americans, it turns me off. Mm -hmm. But if people need to travel outside of America to find their partner, okay. Yeah, first of all, it's not like you call it passport bros. That doesn't make it new or whatever. Like going somewhere where the dollar can be stretched further and you think you'll have more control over the women that you entered in a relationship. That's not new. Uh, that's like there it is. There that's it is. There it is. There's the first the first manipulation tactic, the first reframing. Look at this guy, man. He said you'll have more control. Who who said anything about control? Who who said anything about that? What what, what do you what do you mean control? Is that where your mind goes, sir? It's a strange, strange angle. I didn't hear anything about control. Men trying to control these women? Mm, no, I, di I didn't hear that. Did you? I certainly didn't. Really old thing. So, and you could do it. By the way, b by the way, the, the thing that I don't know that guy in the first video. Mm -hmm. The thing that that's the issue isn't what they're doing. It's the way that they are trying to clearly make sure we know that there's a spin to it in their videos. Mm -hmm. Like there are people who just want to live in another part of the world. They do like the culture. They do like, like the geography. They like the food or whatever. But when your whole thing is advertising to other men as an influencer, because you're the one putting out those videos. He's like, don't give me your grade school things. I didn't make you film that video. You put it out there because you're trying to sell a lifestyle and the lifestyle <laughs> is luxurious exploitation. That's what you're trying to exploitate. So he's used two words with a, with a negative reframe, controlling, exploitation. I, I, I quite literally just see a guy living it up in Thailand, informing other people they too can do this. And you know, maybe that could fall under like promotion. But to me, it's just the reframing he's doing here. Controlling, exploitation. This guy is fascinating. This guy's interesting. Kind of in the way. And you could do that, that's fine. I'm less bothered by that than whoever the woman with Ben Shapiro was. I don't know her or what I her politics it was just are. Ben Shapiro. You know who that is. Stop it. Don't act like you don't know who that is. Wearing a wig. I'm just kidding. I'm I don't, just kidding. I, honestly I know don't that know. it was Brett Cooper. Just joking around. Okay, well, I don't know who that is or what her politics are. Um, they do look like each other, though. Like, I, Are they related? I don't think so. I don't know. I just, I love that she. Well, are, aren't you making fun of your fellow American here? What are you doing? Either just jokingly or felt like she needed to do PR for the guys. Like, you know, these are guys who are just like frustrated with the women, whereas there, they're super elegant. We're trash in this country. We're utter trash. By the way, the, by the way we're really there's fast. such wide variety in the United States. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's trash if that's your thing. Sure. There's also a lot of classy, beautiful, independent, educated women. Like I got the last one, sorry. Independent, educated. All right. I mean, there definitely is a lot of that. It's not, you're not really selling it to me, though. Independent, educated, liberal feminists, anti-male, come from the indoctrination camps of colleges. They come with a lot of debt. Overweight, typically, you look at the stats, I think it's, what is it, 40% of American women are overweight or obese, something like that. 
quite hypocritical when it comes to gender norms and gender stereotypes, right? Like they, they, like I said earlier, they fully expect you to be a man. They fully expect you to live up to your male gender roles. But if you ask something from them, they get offended. I'm not your mother. Yeah, and I am generalizing here, certainly. But even like I said earlier, most, most of the American population, they live in these cities. And most cities are, in fact, Democrat. And most young women are, in fact, Democrats and liberals and feminists, promiscuous. I mean, you know, you, you can tell me that this isn't going on all you want, but it is. And, you know, not all, not all women in America are, in fact, promiscuous. A lot of them are, though. And it's not getting better. There are 330 million people in America. Like, why are we... Like All trash. No, but that's the thing. Like, okay. the PR is these guys are frustrated with women here because the women are bad. It's not that the guys can't hack it. It's not the guys don't have what it takes or can't evolve or learn, that they're not willing to meet people halfway, that they can't find a satisfactory relationship. It's that the women are trash. That's why they have to flee to another country. Listen, the gentleman in the TikTok... Flee. So that's like the third word. Are they are they really fleeing? Are they really trying to control these women? Are they really exploiting anything? Interesting words he's using here. If you just want to get laid, oh well, my man, you're in the right country. You're in the right part of the world to do that. Now, if you want to find a wife, if you want a long term relationship, it might not be the place for that. And I've heard this from other guys in the sphere. Is go check out Midwest. Like, hate to tell you, man, I was born in the Midwest, grew up there. A lot of them are overweight and they're not that great. Talk video that we showed earlier. Mm -hmm. It's just that like, there aren't a sufficient amount of women in America who are willing to like pour cups of jizz-like substances on him as he's walking through the street. I streets. don't know exactly what, I assume that's like a festive <laughs> thing, I don't what know. What was but going on in that video? Does anyone know? Like, what was that? I don't, I don't know, I, I haven't been to Thailand. We'll ask Brett, he's been there. But um, yeah, what, what they're doing, can be fine, but they seem to want to make sure that we know that it's not, that this is an exploitative thing. This is a, you know, trying to down on westernized women or the fact that was, they believe they should have rights or something. It was soap, by the way, that they're throwing uh -huh. on him. It's a good start. So apparently, even in Thailand, they know he's a dirty boy, okay? <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's probably made his Listen, day if he sees you saying that, but. No, I, I hear what you're saying, by the way. Like, I have no problem with men doing this if they feel that this is what they need to do to find someone. Listen, It's not just men, me, by the way. Women don't go abroad to meet people? I mean, maybe they do, I. <laughs> if they think, if they think a, a Western men are oppressing them, Good luck going in other countries and finding men who aren't going to expect their women to behave like women. Good luck with that, ladies. I'm unfamiliar with that practice. I, isn't like eat, pray, love? Isn't love one of the three? Like, I think that's what people do. They I don't think there's a wrong. subculture of women in America who are like, men in the U.S. suck. And no, no, so no, no, I'm going to go to Thailand to find my yes, husband. Yes, no, I'm not saying the subculture. I'm just yeah. saying the practice exists. Sure. People go abroad and meet people all the time. Yeah, yeah. It's that they're trying to like layer this Andrew Tate pickup artist thing onto it. What? What, where does that come into play with this? Andrew Tate, what are you talking about here, bro? How did Tate just work his way into this conversation? A pickup artistry. It, somehow this guy was able to throw in Andrew Tate and, and pickup artistry into this conversation. I'm, I'm curious to see her response to this because this is... Is out of left field. Look, I think that he knows what he just said was silly. What the videos that they're posting are meant to say is that they're not happy with the women here. Like it's just mm -hmm. a way of insulting women in America. That's 100%. it. That's all yeah. it is. That's not um, the message I get from it, but that's definitely the message they want to send. Yeah, and like the thing is, I'm not insulted by it because I know it's not true. Yeah, like, the, the <laughs> woman in the video is like, and all, all right, fair enough. All these Western women are so mad that these guys left. Who, who's mad? They might mock them. They're not like, no, come back, I want you. That's not what's, I don't think that's what's going on. Listen, I'm a very, very happy, happy woman in my personal life, okay? Please I'm not tell upset. us more, please <laughs> tell us more. Are you sure? No, I'm good. Dead ass. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. No, but 
throw in soap all, on me, I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> in all seriousness, like to me, what it communicates to the rest of the world when videos like that are posted that are just meant uh -huh. to insult, what they don't really- I don't really know, but but the thing is he didn't really insult anybody in that clip though, did he? Just kind of, yeah, no, I didn't really hear anything insulting. Realizes they're communicating to the world. I had a lot of trouble finding someone who was yeah. willing to date me, and so I went elsewhere where I think the culture has women who are more submissive. Like yeah. that's the way it 100%. comes across. That's all it is, yeah. And so I'm not mad at that. Like I, I feel I genuinely. I'm not just making this up. I genuinely feel terrible for people who feel lonely, right? Mm -hmm. So I agree. if that guy genuinely had difficulty finding a partner here and he had to go somewhere else to find a woman or the woman of his dreams, great. Yeah. But don't mischaracterize what's really going on here, and don't make it seem as though like. There's a growing body of women in America who are seething over guys who are traveling elsewhere to find a partner. Yeah, no one cares. Yeah, like literally, no one cares. Um, well, it kind of seems like you guys care a little bit. Let's, let's stop it. I am not so certain that these men can't hack it in America, so they're going elsewhere. I really just think they would prefer those women. I don't think it's a ah. Uh, I'm failing here. Let me go elsewhere and see if that'll work. I think it's uh I have no interest here. I've done it. I've been in relationships with and didn't enjoy with uh these these relationships with these women. Maybe I'll like them better over here. I mean, are there some men who think I can't hack it in America? Let me go over here. I would imagine so. There's definitely some of that. I actually think for a lot of these younger men, they are seeing that, okay, yeah, a lot of uh, Western American women are in fact going to be more feminist. They're going to be more anti-gender roles for them. So, you know what? Maybe that wouldn't be a great relationship for me. Let me go, go to Asia where women are very feminine. And it's not just Asia, you know, South America as well, where they have more traditional values, Eastern Europe. So this is what these guys are doing. Because everybody knows how liberal American women are. And that's just being a liberal feminist doesn't really bo or mix well with being a wife or a girlfriend. It just doesn't go well, really. Now, according to Urban Dictionary, the authoritative source uh, for content and information about things like passport bros. The passport bros are men who have chosen to seek out foreign women, typically from other countries for relationships. They believe that Western women have been influenced by cultural and societal pressures to mm -hmm. behave in a certain way. Do I yeah. look like the kind of person who's pressured to behave in a certain way? I think this is actually a great, great definition, great description. Mm -hmm. I want to behave how I want to behave. And also to be clear, the countries they're going to don't have any cultural or social pressure on women. No, it doesn't no. affect them in any it's way. It's only in America. Mm -hmm. It's a American it's, it's thing. New. It's a yeah. new thing. There are no social pressures in any other country. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what the people are saying. Yeah. Um, so they're seeking out foreign women so they can find a more authentic, fulfilling, and harmonious relationship. Absolutely. <sighs> okay, and this is uh, seen as a way to restore the natural balance between masculine and feminine mm. energy and to avoid the wickedness of Western women. Well, bang on. Spot on. Could have said it better myself, to be fair. Well, I can't be pretty wicked. You can. I also, I love Very the idea wicked. of like these guys who are like, all I need is like $5,000 so I can go have random sex with a bunch of women because they're wicked back here. I'm. See. <sighs> This is just simply not what was just described. This guy's interesting. You know, I'm not mad at, at the things she's saying. She's very rational. She's kind of being a goofball. Fair enough. It's it's this guy that is throwing me off here. <laughs> He's just taking one thing and spinning it and flipping it and reframing it into a completely different thing. I don't I don't get this guy. You're weird, bro. I'm virtuous and moral as I try to have random sex on the beaches of Thailand, but these damn whores in Minnesota are trying to corrupt my pure soul. <laughs> Just eat alone so I can bang someone. Damn whores. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Like, 
Yeah. Look, again, you could do it, you could do it. And lots of people do it, like, yo, yo, cool, now you have a hashtag, like name, label or whatever, but like lots of people do it. But like, let's also just realize what's happening. There are a lot of men who either don't have it in them emotionally, spiritually, intellectually, or have been trained because they follow the wrong influencers, that they can't keep up with society. Hmm. There's just a lot about society that they can't take. They literally can't watch a movie because if they see two people the same sex kiss, they their pants like they can't keep up and so they flee somewhere where they think all those things that scare them and make them feel anxiety and uncomfortable will be repressed by the state and by cultural and social pressures. And because women are so repressed and they don't have rights, they don't even have to go to the trouble of stripping them of the rights. Mm -hmm. And so it's guys who can't make it in a modern society who are fleeing to a place where things are set up to benefit them. That's all it is. You know, you do have to admit though, the sex scenes what? Uh, uh, so now he's criticizing people who don't want to watch two dudes kiss in movies, and that's why they're going to Thailand. Yeah, okay, dude. Maybe people have different opinions. Different. They see the world differently. Maybe they don't really like to watch two guys make out. You ever thought about that? And maybe they don't like the rejection of traditional norms maybe they aren't really that fond of modernity if you will it just interesting takes this guy's got all around <clears throat> in this case we have a much more rational woman than we have a a rational man interesting in in shows and movies whether they're gay or straight i don't care they've gotten a little too long like let's let's all right go, we get it we get it you guys are i agree with that actually i don't think I think there needs to be less of these these sex scenes in movies. I really make it quicker. If anything, it's really I don't I don't need to see it. It's not that important to the plot, you know. It's just maybe a kiss, uh, and then you just let us realize what they did and, and move on. But preferably opposite sexes, please. Having sex. Can we what's, move on? What's an example? Like what's a movie? I mean, I'm in the middle All of watching of poor things, and so there's a lot of long I'm sex scenes in it. Definitely turning into a little bit of a fuddy duddy. Like, mm -hmm. oh, it's too much violence in this scene. I don't like that. Like, yeah. I, don't, I don't like watching someone get tortured or maimed. Um, or, yeah, like, I just. Are you watching Bridgerton or something? I'm not What's really. Going on? I'm, yeah, no, Brit, let's just. Everyone must acknowledge and accept the fact that the main female character in the first season of Bridgerton looked like she was 14. All right. Don't know what she's talking about. I'm going to end it there. But no, I, I find it funny how the, the guy on the left was, was really offended, it seemed like. He was not having it. He was pretty upset. And the, the woman was kind of like, you know what? I don't have that big of an uh, issue with it. So, and I think her name, yeah, Anna Kasparian, and the guy on the left, John Lod Lodurola. Lodurola. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you in the next video.